So I bought a PS5 in 2023, and yes, it's three years late, and do I care? No, because I'm having a great time with the library of games available on the system, and it's really just been a ton of fun. I got PS Plus, so I'm just downloading a ton of these games, and they're all really a great time. I've played around five games at this point on the system, and that includes Astro's Playroom, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Ratchet & Clank, God of War, and say it with me, everybody, Final Fantasy 16, but I haven't gotten that far into it, so there's that. But but I've beaten two of the games, and I'm really so close to beating Ratchet & Clank. But the first game I beat on the system was the packing game Astro's Playroom. I think this is the standard for all packing games. It was fantastic. It was so great to just go through this really well done 3D platformer and see all of PlayStation's history. I mean, in each level, you're collecting something from like the history of PlayStation. The first level, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 boss level final level playstation 5 i mean it's pretty awesome and i just love the collectathon nature of the game itself and it's really just unironically super fun and i think it utilizes the features of the playstation extremely well i mean it really showed me everything that the dual sense could do and highlighted all the features which is fantastic and something that i think is awesome i mean obviously you want the packing game to essentially be sort of a tech demo for the system that it's for astro's playroom did this so well while seamlessly blending it into some amazing gameplay i will say i don't know how much i love the adaptive triggers sometimes it's just too much resistance to pull it down i don't know kind of pissed me off i have only experienced like irritation with the adaptive triggers in astro's playroom because so maybe they were just like a little too intense about it but it kind of irritated me a little bit, but regardless, it's a fantastic game. It's not a super long one. It's like five hours, but I seriously think everyone should play this game. Moving on to the second game I played and beat was Spider-Man Miles Morales. Actually, 100% of this game, and I don't 100% any games. I have three games I've ever 100%ed. This game, Shredder's Revenge, and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. All games that I absolutely love. So... 100%ing Miles Morales was a big deal to me, and I think I did this because, first of all, it's not the longest game in the world. You can beat it in around 15 hours is what it took me, and I was, like, messing around and doing a ton of stuff. And so, you know, I just think that there's so much value here. I understand that it's not nearly as long as the first game, but I kind of like shorter games, and I like the story. I mean, I love the story. It was awesome just swinging around Harlem and you know, all the different web mechanics and the combat was fantastic. I mean, it's sort of like a modern day beat em up, like a 3D style beat em up. It's, it's fantastic. Like, probably one of my favorite games of all time is Miles Morales now. And I just love the story of it. I loved everything, the way it was told, the gameplay mechanics of it, and just it it does everything so well. Like, I'm struggling to perfectly explain this to you guys, but it's definitely one of my favorite games of all time and i think it's just a absolute masterpiece i am super excited for the second one unfortunately i did sort of miss out on the first one and i haven't played that but i've like dabbled in it i've swung around uh new york with because my brother had it on his ps4 but i never had a ps4 just my brothers and so he let me like swing around but i never got any of the story really got comfortable with the combat or anything like that so I'm definitely going to look into, you know, getting that game and playing it on my PlayStation 5 now. Now, currently, I am playing Ratchet and & Clank, and that's the one I'm getting through right now. I am loving it. I think it's a really great game. I mean, I love 3D platformers. I'm a Nintendo girl at heart, and so, you know, 3D platformers are kind of my bread and butter, and this one's really fun. I mean, I love the mechanics of it. I think it's really fun. I think it uses the controller really well, and it's a really nice, just, like, sort of open platformer game. It's, it's super fun. Super, super fun. Uh, but I keep running into these glitches, and it keeps, like glitching out my system well not that like the playstation but glitching out the game and then i have to cancel like i have to reset from the last checkpoint so it pulls me out of there and so it kind of pisses me off uh but more or less it has been really really fun i love the story of it i think obviously the graphics are just unbelievable i mean it's beautiful playstation playstation 5 graphics are stunning like i don't think i've seen anything better i mean i don't have a high end pc or anything like that and you know xbox i have a series s so i don't even have the x and i like the s and I like all these, like, I love my Switch, I love the Xbox, I love the PlayStation, but seriously, the PlayStation has just, like, sort of blown me away. On top of which, I also played a little bit of God of War Ragnarok. I have yet to finish it because I think it, well, it's only, like, a 30-hour game, but I just need to give myself a bit more time to get through it currently. Uh, but that's also been a very fun experience. I mean, I'm not super far into it, but I... I really enjoy those games. I mean, I played the first one a little. I still have not beaten the first one, so I think I also 
have to go back and do that. I have a lot of gaps in my play history right now, just PlayStation wise, because I haven't had one since the PlayStation three. And so definitely going to have to check those, those ones out uh, at some point, but seriously, great game, uh, really good time. And the last one I played a teeny, teeny, tiny bit, barely anything of final fantasy 16, I'm not a final fantasy person, but the trailers looked cool to me. Plus it came with my system. So I was like, ah, I'll totally check it out. And it seems all right. I just, I have not gotten into it at all yet. So I'm going to try to beat all these other ones because final fantasy is such a massive game, but real quick, do you guys have a PlayStation? Let me know in the comments below. Also subscribe. Okay. Thank you. But just as a whole, I have really been enjoying my PlayStation. I mean, I think it's a fantastic console. I think it looks super ugly. I mean, they were trying to do this futuristic thing and it, it looks terrible. I mean, it just, it's so, it's so freaking ugly. <laughs> like I love the series S and how compact it is. It's awesome. And it's super easy for like travel for college. This thing is a massive beast, which is fine and cool in its own right. But the, the packaging, like not even the packaging, just the way the system looks, why did they make it look like a spaceship? It looks like it's about to take off and I don't like it. On top of which, I don't love the DualSense. I mean, I think it's a really cool controller. It has a lot of features. I think it's like a good controller. It's just not my favorite. I don't like, I, I prefer asymmetrical sticks, I think, just because I'm used to the Switch and the Xbox. And so going back to the symmetrical sticks is really, I don't know, it's strange to me. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of your PlayStation in the comments down below. What games do I need? Give me some recommendations. Don't make them crazy ass RPGs because I won't play those, I promise. But anyways, check out this video. It's a banger. It's a vibe. It's a good time. I will see you there. Bye bye.